Hi, I'm Sip Proisey, and while we usually talk to you about tennis equipment, in this series of episodes, we're actually going to take you back in time to look at and discuss some of the most iconic rackets that have marked their time. And today, we're going to be looking at the Le Coq Sportif TCO racket, or the racket Yannick Noah used when he won the French Open in 1983. This is an iconic racket for many reasons. First of all, it is the very last racket made mainly from wood to ever win a Grand Slam title. After that, all Grand Slam winners use mainly graphite rackets, with the exception of Jimmy Connors, who uses famous tubular steel racket until 1987. But we're going to be talking about Jimmy Connors rackets in another episode. Back in those days, wooden rackets had very small head size, not only to keep the overall weight to a minimum, but also because it was just the norm. But the racket Yannick Noah used, the Le Coq Sportif TCO, featured a much bigger head size in comparison, actually very close to what is considered the norm today among pros. In fact, the larger head size is what Noah welcomed the most when he switched to this racket in 1982, because it gave his serve even more power. Another peculiar feature of this racket is that third branch that you see right here. Now, while the Coq Sportif advertised this feature as giving more stability to the frame while shifting the sweet spot slightly higher, Noah thought it simply looked cool. In fact, he didn't care much for what racket he was using as much as he did for the lead tape he was known to carry around and customize his rackets with most of the time during the middle of his matches. Now, this type of in-game customization is completely unheard of. Although you have some players like Andre Agassi not long ago who are known to change their tension during their matches. It's hard to understand exactly why this third branch was added to the mold other than purely for aesthetics. But my guess is the alleged added stability came at the cost of more material and more weight on the racket which is probably why this feature disappeared over time. What makes this racket even more iconic, besides the fact that Le Coq Sportif no longer manufactures rackets, is that Nola remains the only French male player to have ever won a Grand Slam during the Open era. What's even more interesting is that Noah only used this racket for a couple of years before Le Coq Sportif made him a graphite version of this racket. The Coq Sportif TCO was truly a transitional racket not only for Noah, but for tennis in general, as larger graphite rackets were slowly becoming the new norm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with a bunch of other old rackets.